In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Samba server within a Ubuntu 10.10 .10 operating system, giving us the ability to be able to share folders and files with Windows computers. Now, to begin with, you want to make sure that your computer is up to date uh, using either the sudo apt-get update and then the upgrade, or using the actual tools built into to Ubuntu's graphical user interface to be able to update it because packages do change and so you want to have the latest and greatest as far as the software is concerned on your computer. So after you've done that we're going to go ahead and run the sudo apt get install samba and I'll go ahead and hit uh, type in the password for the root user and we're going to go ahead and install samba here. Now that samba is installed I'm going to go ahead and install a graphical tool to use to actually modify the samba shares. So we're going to go ahead and instead of just Samba here, we're going to go ahead and type in sudo apt-get install and this time we're going to type in system-config-samba and this is going to open up a tool or install for us a tool that's going to actually allow us to easily modify the config file for Samba rather than having to manually do it. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter now and let that install. Alright, so now I've got Samba installed and I have the tool installed as well. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the terminal. I'm going to right click and create a folder here on my desktop that I actually can use for the share. So I'll right click, create a folder to use for our share. I'm going to go ahead and just call it share. And we're going to right click on it and go to the share. Let's see there, share options. Or you can go to properties and click on sharing. We'll choose to share this folder. And I'm going to go ahead and say allow others to create and delete files in this folder. So I'm giving rights to everybody on this folder. And I'm also going to give guest access for any user account. And I'll go ahead and hit create the share. And we're going to go ahead and add the permissions. And so now that the share has been created, I'm going to also have to go to and modify the Samba. So I'm going to go here now to administration. And this is the graphical tool we installed. So I'll go ahead and click on Samba. And we'll have to type in the sudo password. And now that we've got the program up, we're going to go ahead and click on the plus symbol here to add a new Samba share. We're going to look for the directory. I'm going to go ahead and hit browse. And go to my desktop. And there's the share folder, so I'll go ahead and hit OK. And I can definitely change the description or add things to the share name itself. I'm going to go ahead and say it's writable and it's visible. And if you come over to the access, we can allow everybody to access it rather than just a user account built into the Linux operating system here. So I'll hit OK. And we'll go ahead and close out. And now we're going to go over to the Windows machine and we're going to actually look at connecting to the share. So what we're going to do now is I need to figure out my IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the terminal. And we're going to go ahead and type in ifconfig to determine our IP address and it's 10.0.0.7. So I'm going to come here to my Windows machine and I'm going to go ahead and hit run. I'll type in backslash backslash 10.0.0.7 and hit enter. And we should see there it is, the share folder that we've got. I can double click inside of the share folder. Right click, create a new, and we'll just call it a text document here. And say test. And we should see now that in my share folder, I will have that test document. And there it is. So this is connecting or creating a Samba server within Ubuntu to be able to share folders and files with Windows machines.